Are parks on the air and other portable activities using digital modes part of your ham radio activities? If so, this little gadget is something to take a look at. Hi, and welcome to the Gadget Talk channel, where we do reviews and how-tos on a variety of electronic gadgets that catch my eye. In this video, we're going to take a look at a small, inexpensive GPS dongle that, when paired with a nice free software app, can help ensure your computer's clock is as accurate as can be. As I was preparing to make my annual trip to the Quartzfest ham radio camp out in Quartzsite, Arizona, I had a problem that I needed to solve. I like to use FT8 during Quartzfest, and since the laptop I use for my radio software is a bit old, I find it loses time fairly quickly. If you're familiar with FT8, you know that it's a time-based digital low signal mode that requires operators to sync their computer clocks to within a second or two to ensure signals are properly decoded. You're able to see how far your signals are versus others when looking at the DT column on the FT8 display. Most of the time, your best sequences occur when they're within 0.1 or 0.2 seconds of others. While you'll occasionally see someone who is more than a second off, those stations are missing the receive and transmit intervals by enough that they might not get responses to their CQs or their responses to other CQs may be beaten to the punch by those with the correct time. The Quartzfest campsite can be cell phone limited, especially data signals. There are thousands of users trying to access limited cell phone capacity with all the campers in the area's long-term visitor areas and short-term campsites on BLM land. Last year, I was able to get within about 0.5 seconds using my smartphone display and clicking the set button on the PC. This year, I needed something that was easier and more accurate. I also wanted to do some digital parks on the air and other portable activities this summer. A couple of my favorite camping spots are also severely cell phone limited. Enter two useful tools. First was the Hi Let Go VK172 USB GPS receiver. Next was the GPS to Time software app used to set the PC's clock. There are a lot of USB GPS devices on Amazon, so you'll have lots to choose from. Some, like the VK172, are dongles that plug directly into a USB-A port on your PC or laptop. Others have cables of various lengths that allow the receiver to be placed further away from the PC, where reception might be better. I went with the dongle. At less than $12, it seemed like a steal, and I had a USB extension cable if I needed it. As with a lot of radio-related USB devices, such as HT programming cables, you'll need to use Windows Device Manager to determine which COM port your computer assigned to the device when you plugged it in. The time setting app we'll look at in a minute will need to know where to look for the GPS data. As you see here in this video clip, taken in my RV at Quartzfest, the dongle will blink when it gets a good GPS signal. If you've used GPS devices like this before or have read about them, you know that accuracy is improved when the receivers are able to see multiple satellites. Information on the NOAA website says that three satellites are necessary to compute position and one additional satellite is required to adjust for errors in the receiver's clock. Since our goal is an accurate clock, we'll need to shoot for four satellites. Connecting the dongle to the USB extension cable and placing it near a window allowed me to connect while I was in the house. 
As shown in the previous clip, the dongle worked fine just plugged into the laptop when in my RV. With the dongle working, that solved part one of the problem. Since I had a good GPS signal, part two was to communicate the GPS signal to the computer's clock. I looked around and found a free app that reads GPS signal and will reset the computer's clock. The app I chose is called GPS Two Time. It's available at www.vk4adc.com. According to qrz.com, VK4ADK is an Australian ham who has several software apps available on his website. The app is located under the Software Projects menu and in the VK4ADK Utilities folder. I'll leave a link to both the dongle and the app in the description below. When you get to the GPS to Time page, you'll see an extensive write-up explaining how it works and some technical details. Some of the photos are from earlier versions, but the display hasn't changed that much. While the program has been around for a while, the latest update is dated 2 February 2021. After reading through the information, you'll find a download link a few paragraphs down. Download the zip file and unzip it using your favorite zip decompressor. Run the app by right-clicking the GPS to Time executable and choose Run as Administrator. Then authorize the app at the security prompt. The app won't update the computer if not run in the administrator mode. Let's take a quick look at the app in action. Okay, so as with many uh, USB devices, especially in the, the radio world here, uh, we want to start out with the device manager. And you can see we've got that open. And I want to go down to my ports uh, entry and make sure that I can see and note the COM port that the USB device is connected to. And in this case, that little VK172 that I've got connected to a USB extension cable in the window of my home here has got a signal and it's showing here as USB uh, serial device COM7, which we want to remember because we're going to need that as we move into the applet. So here's the applet itself. It doesn't take much screen room and it shows the information that we need. And so here you're going to start either with a blank red box here or with a COM port and it senses COM1 and COM7 so we want COM7 so we're going to choose that it turns green then we're going to run the GPS and so there's a couple of things here that are important first you're going to note that the uh, time here is uh, UTC 3151 52 3150 so the computer and the uh, GPS time are in sync when we open this up. If we needed to update it, if there was a difference, we could make the update now button right over here. One of the other things that's important for us to notice, it gives us our latitude and longitude from the GPS. And this is the data string down here. And so you can see that it's got the lat, the long, the elevation and all that uh, down in this line if you needed that for something else. You'll also notice that in this latest version of GPS to Time, it gives you your Maidenhead um, grid square, which is really handy, especially if you're operating portable. You don't have to uh, go into some other app or try to find a data signal to uh, uh, compute where you are. And it gives it down to you know a fairly uh, small range here. Uh, it looks like eight characters, the usual DM33WR, which is the Phoenix area, plus a sub uh, category all the way down to the number 22. Um, I've got this set at 4800 baud. It works. Uh, the instructions are for the app says the faster the data uh, stream from the signal, the more accurate the time. And so you can see that it has a number of other choices that you can choose from. Now, the next thing that's important to note is that if we open this prior to opening WSJTX, we can uh, open the FTA app and then click this and this will 
update the maidenhead square into the data element in WSJTX so you don't have to go back into your settings to make sure that you've got the right maidenhead square in the, um, the software. So that's really pretty uh, interesting. Over here you've got the uh, website address for the guy who made this and so you can see it's really an easy uh, app to use and it gives you the information you need just instantaneously. Again, remember when you open this applet, you want to right click on it and then choose run it administrator because if you don't run as the administrator, the update to the computer uh, won't work. And so that's a quick look at GPS to time and how you can use that on your computer to get a good clock time for your computer when using FT8. As you can see, this is a very lightweight solution to keeping your PC on the correct time and the handy WSTJX update button that inserts your grid square into the WSJTX program is very handy. As you saw in the earlier clip, I used this setup during my quartz vest trip and it was very easy to ensure that my laptop had the correct time. My time deviation from other users was often just 0.1 or 0.2 seconds and I was confident that those with big deviations were their settings and not mine. The big thing to remember is if you don't use this setup frequently that you have to open the app in administrator mode. If you don't, the app still opens but you'll likely see a two or three second difference in the GPS time and the computer's time. If you click update and nothing happens, you forgot to run as administrator. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. Join me over here for a quick overview of my QuartzFest 2023 excursion. Thanks for watching and 73.